Hello, welcome to today's next immigration tidbit. So you have an H-1B and you want to know if your spouse and children and parents and uncles and sisters and brothers can come in with you. Well, uh, not all of them. Uh, a derivative beneficiary, a dependent uh, of H-4s, uh, will be considered uh, to be your spouse and your unmarried children under 21. As long as those two conditions exist, then they can get H-4s as well. Now, when they come in and get the H-4s, uh, they're not allowed to just start working. So especially, you know, your spouse is going to want to start working, and they're not allowed on an H-4. Now, the next thing you're going to say is, well, you know, four people who are on H-4s that are working, I can't possibly be right. Well, the reality is, is that when one's on an H-1B and they approach the six-year mark and then uh, they they have filed and are waiting for a PERM or an I-140 for at least a year, they can get yearly extensions of the H-1B. Now, if they are on yearly extensions of the H-1B, then the H-4 holder is allowed to work, okay? And the H-4 holder can do their own business, uh, can open up a business, can work wherever they want. Um, I've, I have had comments uh, that the H-1B uh, invests 50-50 in a business with the H-4 holder and then doesn't, quote, do any work and is just doing a passive investment. That, that won't work. Um, I can't tell you how many times people try to maneuver into what they consider to be a passive investment. H-1B means to work at the company you're working at. And then H-4, if the H-1B is on a one-year extension, they are eligible to work and to open their company and so forth. Obviously, the risk with that is once the H-4 is done, what's going to happen to the company? Um, they're They're are ways of properly setting it up and properly doing it. Um, but that's how the derivatives will work. Now, when a child, uh, son or daughter, turns 21, by operation of law, the H-4 will end. So they'll have to do a change of status before they hit 21 um, to F-1 or get their own H-1B, whatever it is, uh, in order to proceed forward so that they don't automatically go out of status. Okay.